for task one, the peg transfer, the task requires that you perform a mid-air transfer of each triangle from one side of the pegboard to the other and then back. There can be no drops of any triangles outside the field of view. If a triangle is dropped and can be regrasped, it must be picked up with the last hand that had hold of the triangle before it was dropped, and then the transfer must be completed. The time for the exercise starts when the first triangle is touched and ends when the last triangle is set onto the pegboard and released. The average time for completion is 48 seconds. In order to improve accuracy and efficiency for this task, we will demonstrate a clockwise pattern to completing the peg transfer, and we will also talk about how the clockwise pattern improves the ability to use two hands for both grasping and setting triangles onto the pegs to improve your efficiency for the task completion. This is task number one, the peg transfer. For this exercise, you are given two non-locking graspers with a slight curvature is helpful. The essentials of this exercise are to perform a mid-air transfer of a triangle on the left side to the right hand and then to set it on the right. Do this for all six triangles on the left side and then move the triangles back to the left. And then the task is complete. There can be no drops of any triangles outside the field of view. If a triangle is dropped during the transfer, the last hand that had hold of the triangle is the one that must pick the triangle back up before the triangle can be set on the opposite side of the field. The time starts on this exercise when your first instrument touches the first triangle, and the average time for completion of this exercise is 48 seconds. Our recommendations for performing this exercise are that you develop a pattern that you repeat each time you perform the peg transfer exercise. The board will always be set up so that the six straight pegs in line are on the left side and that the pegs that are in a circle are on the right side of the field. Therefore, the pattern that you choose should be the same when you go to your testing center. We recommend a pattern that starts in the lower left corner and moves to this corresponding peg as your first move, and then to proceed in a clockwise fashion around each side of the board. The reason for this pattern in this fashion that you see here is to keep your working distance between the two instruments the same and as short as possible. Therefore, pegs moving from this side to this peg will keep your width of your visual field roughly the same throughout the exercise versus transferring from here to here and then later from here across the field which will expand your visual field and make it more difficult to work with two hands simultaneously. The key to improving your speed on this exercise is to be able to use both hands simultaneously so that while one instrument is grasping a triangle the other is setting the triangle down. And the pattern that we have demonstrated here is the most helpful for improving your efficiency and your accuracy on this exercise. It is our recommendation that you focus first on developing your pattern and your motor memory for the exercise, and then your speed will increase as you perform the exercise with more repetitions.